Hey, hey, Jamie, lovely to meet you. How are you doing this evening? Quite scary, isn't it? It's all... I actually didn't expect it. I was I kind of pulled up with my with my mate Steve. Don't know where he is now, and um, and it all, it's all a bit scary, but but fun. But exciting. A bit exciting. Yeah, yeah. So you play a young uh, Richard McCready in mm -hmm. this film. How was that sharing a, a character with Steve? It was daunting. It was exciting. I mean, it was it was. We didn't really work closely together in terms of building a, a character because I think we we kind of personally. Uh, had our own ideas and I think the character that I play as a young Richard McCready differs a lot from the from the person that he becomes you know I'm kind of the, the way there um, but it's incredible and it's, it's just just to be able to be in something with Steve is like beyond anything so so yeah it's awesome and um, how was it uh you know, working with Steve and like sharing the character. Did you meet up and talk about it, or was that just, or was no, it completely no. scripted? It was, it was all scripted, and we no, we didn't talk about it at all. I think we, we only really, because there's such a big part of the film that I'm not involved in. I think we only really, properly hung out in Sri Lanka when we were in Sri Lanka. So, so we didn't by that time too much had been done to go back. And does your Richard uh, contrast a lot to Steve's Richard? I think he's 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 on the. Um, my my Richard is very ambitious and and doesn't ha really have anything yet, you know. And then uh, I mean I haven't seen the movie; I've only read the script. And then, but I do think that I, do, I think that Steve's Richard uh, is very different to that. You know, I'm very much on the on the way up, <laughs> trying. So, what was your biggest challenge within the role? Would you say? I think my biggest challenge within the role was probably I don't know that he's he's. Going, playing a schoolboy was hard. <laughs> at the point where I was like reading the thing, I was going, "Well, I'm going to have to play it like at least 14. How are we going to do that?" I was like, "Just shave loads, <laughs> just shave a lot." Um, but that was that was that was weird. Obviously, stepping into like being at school, I don't think I can't remember the last time I played a school kid. Really, I'm kind of that in between the age where I'm not. I'm too old for the school kid, but too young for the cop. You know, so so that was tough. Also, all the all the all of the kind of bartering stuff. You know, is all you know desperately trying to convince someone to to give you a really great deal is really is really uh, fun and challenging to play with. Um, but it was a really it was an awesome experience. And working with Michael was. Amazing. Yeah, I was going to say, what was it that attracted you to the script? But I assume I mean, because I, Michael went to Brussels wrote it. Oh, it was like, like it, it, that's all. That's all. I, I was, I was thinking, I would just do anything. I don't care what the part is. I just want, I want to know what it's, kind of what it's like. Um, and it was beyond my expectations. It was very, almost felt like, you know, it was constantly shooting, constantly rolling, and like there's no time for, to to kind of, uh, you know, the energy never dips. It's always. We're always shooting, um, you know, being being in a tuk-tuk in Sri Lanka and <laughs> with like four tuk-tuks all like following each other. It was, just, it was just incredible. And obviously it raises quite an important issue. Was that something that really excited you when it came to the script? Did you feel like it was important for you to get across? Yeah, of course. And, it, and, and, and I think it's always important to... to to use something like this to to shine a light on things, you know, and, and this is something even more so kind of seeing it firsthand in Sri Lanka going to the garment factories because we shot in real garment factories and uh, and it almost made it more important because you 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 there's a there's a degree of separation and that's the thing that I think everyone needs to talk about is that is that it's fine to go and buy your clothes from the high street. But then it was really different for, weird for us, obviously, to then go to the place where, where these garments are made and where these women are paid four pounds a day, to make them. You know, it just it, it actually doesn't make sense. Um, so, so yeah, I think it's I think it's always exciting to be part of something that's looking to shine a light on 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 something very important. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!